Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Serio and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be talking about frame.io and I'm someone that basically reviews a ton of new creatives every single week. I'll do anywhere from like 30 to 40 new creatives every single week I have to review. That's a lot of creatives, okay? Um, there's videos, there's the photos and apply a lot back with editing teams and stuff like that. And I, I'm always looking for tools to basically kind of like, how can I bring that down. How can I cut the amount of time I spend in review over creatives down? And I found this amazing tool that essentially allows me to watch the video or watch the or look at the photo and add timestamps to it of like what things need to be changed, um, draw on it, things like that. And it's such in like a real time fast paced versus me trying to sit there and jot down different like timestamps while looking at creative and then like making notes to it just solves so much time. It saves a lot of time. So very cheap thing. It starts off like $25 a month. It's not, this video is not sponsored at all, by the way. <laughs> He's literally just a tool I found. I've been using it for the last two weeks inside the agency and it's crushing it. So guys, with that being said, I want to introduce you guys, introduce you guys to frame.io. Oh, before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know this week we're uploading Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but next week we'll be back on track. So let's dive into it. So this is frame.io. It's used by high production, like studios, things like that. Um, so basically, again, it literally does exactly like what I showed you or told you guys about. It allows you to draw, add timestamps, all that fun stuff right there. And yeah, so from an advertising studio, um, this helps a lot. So I'm just gonna jump into it real quick. I'm not gonna go like super in depth on a big tour and stuff like that. So inside of here, I just, I created a project. So you can create projects, which each project is like, you know, review, like, let's say, for example, you get some UGC videos back from a creator. Okay. UGC videos, client name or UGC videos and like a little number, unique identifier, whatever you want to call it. So this is my project, YouTube test. And inside this project, you can create some folders. So like you can do like a new folder. Um, this might be like a mood board. Um, essentially like a mood board is basically just like a string of content that you kind of use to kind of set the like what you want. So like, let's say for example, we're shooting a UGC ad, I might do it, drop a photo in there with like what type of text format I want. I might drop a video in there, like with a good UGC example, things like that. It's just different things to essentially give inspiration to the editor or, or like the filmer person is going to film of essentially what I'm looking to articulate to them in the mood and the feeling that I'm giving off to them. And that's a whole nother video, but anyway, and then let's say another new folder might be, uh, let's say for example, um, you know, first rough drafts, <laughs> this might be like your first iterations and stuff like that. So, or you can just upload the content straight to here. So we're going to do it all, but anyway, let's actually upload a file, show you guys. So I'll actually give you guys, let's see. All right, cool. So here is a video ad we just got back from our editor. Again, you upload it, very easy to upload to it. And you can either keep that video just inside this folder or you can you know, drop it down into like some subfolders or something like that if you wanna be like super organized and stuff. So, and yeah, and let's just double click on it and give it a second or two, but there you go. It uploads very quickly allows you to review very quickly. You don't have to sit down and like wait for, you know, a lot of like, um, like YouTube, you have to wait for it's like process for a period of time. Um, it's pretty straightforward, like uploads and you can almost review it immediately. So, but yeah, so here's the creative. Here's what we put together this weekend. Video editor, put it together, let you guys see it. Go through. Cool. So um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Just a very short ad, very simple. So let's say for example, I'll watch this and like the old way would be to watch this and like look at the different timestamps right here. So like, let's say for like, three seconds right here. And then I basically like open up a notepad and just start making like jots now, three seconds. Change the, I don't know, can you darken the light in the background? And it's just like, what light is he talking about? Okay. So now with here, it's like, I can just leave my comment. I don't even have to say at three seconds. I just say, can you please, please darken. Okay. Now what I can do is, is I can take this little pin tool and I can draw, I can do arrows. I can do a line or I can do like kind of like a circle or square. So I'm just going to grab the draw tool and you can choose from different colors, orange, blue, green, things like that. Yeah. And I can just simply just circle like that. Boom. There we go. And then I'll hit send. Okay. Now. What's cool is right here is showing all the different comments. 
So a video editor can simply just click on any one of them and it'll, sh it'll skip to like that time frame. So say we go like five seconds, click on three seconds, like click on this one, it'll take them to three seconds. It'll also show up that. So it's like, can you please darken this light? Boom, circled. So like from me, from a perspective of communicating to the video editor, it's very easy. I can quickly articulate to them what I want. It also took me like no time at all to quickly write that down. So that just saved me a lot of time than me trying to have to sit down, jot down the time code, try to explain what I'm talking about, maybe take a screenshot, draw on it, add it, upload. Like that's another way we've done it before. And yeah, and then hopefully he understands, he or she understands. And then when I get the video back, hopefully he or she made that edit. So like this way right here, it just makes it very easy to remember all the comments. You can also mark it as complete. So as he's editing or he or she's editing, you can, they can go ahead and like mark it complete. So they can look at the whole list. So let's just go ahead and put a list together. Cool. Oh wait, boom. Let's add, can, um, add a glass break sound effect. So like when she throws that plant, can we add like glass break sound effect? Okay. Boom. Not sure about this headline. Can we test a second variation of, I don't know, the perfect gift. There we go. So like, obviously you go ahead, you'll add everything. Yeah very simple and let's see can we change the colors okay so yeah very simple um so we did all of our things now let's say for example a video editor and also to like just from another perspective you can also like change this right here to like needs review so and we can also share this project with other like team members inside of the um project in that center right there so Basically, let's say for example, I can put my video editor on it. I can put my client on it. If, I have a, if, you know, if I'm working with clients, um, not, I can just add other team members and that way we can all kind of add comments and then also to like reply to them and things like that. So, but yeah, so like, let's say for example, boom, I'm reviewing this, I'm the editor. Cool, add a glass break sound effect. I can open up that project file. I can add it, boom, more complete. All right, what's the next edit they want? Can you please darken a slight? I have no clue how that's possible. Um, you know, if I'm the editor, not sure if that will, be possible, but we'll send over some examples. Okay, there we go. So obviously like, again, pretend I'm like the editor since right there. So, and then yeah, cool, change this, more complete. Okay, we just got blends in, cool, complete. So, and then what I basically do is, um, you know, I might switch it over to like in progress as the editor and I'll put it back back as review. And then that way, like the project manager, whoever's like review the creatives can actually go ahead and like look over that. So, but yeah very simple tool like i love it and also too the cool thing about it is you can actually download straight from here so you can hit like download as avc you can also download a simple proxy which a proxy is just a lower quality version just for a quick review uh for whatever reason so that's pretty cool yeah and you can also share it for review so if you're working from a client perspective right there um you can copy a link and you can send it over to people kind of like a google drive in that sense right there so but yeah really cool i love it um, and yeah, like I said, you can also like add in different like projects and stuff. So like, let me just show you guys one, this is the demo project that comes with like, once you like do your like thing. So like, here's your pre-production. This is where it has like your, you know, your timeline. Um, these are all things that you can upload just from like a, a perspective of planning the creative. Here's the mood board I was talking about. So that was pretty cool. So I'll just show you guys. And then, um, yeah, so they already have like a demo project frame.io. Uh, you get this with your like 14 day free trial. And again, like I said, so you ain't sponsored or anything like that. It's also $25 per month per team member. So if you have a team of like three, um, that's $75 per month. You have, if it's just you and your video editor, it's $50 per month. So it's $25 a month per person uh, from a team perspective. Yeah, works amazing. I absolutely <laughs> love it. And it's helped our agency a ton. So for you guys that's doing a lot of creative, I highly recommend diving into this. It's going to help you a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.